Okay, in this video, what I'll be doing is showing two tips on how to redock your controller organizer. So this controller organizer over here, if you go, if you accidentally move it for any reason, and you say, "Oh, oops, uh, well, I need to get it back. How do I do that? Uh, I need to come over here and you know stretch this out and do this and do that." Um, anyway, I'm going to show you two tips on how to get this back very easily, very quickly, without any headache. So um, make sure you, you you know follow through the whole video so that you get both tips because the easier one is going to be said last, obviously. Um, but anyway, so also too, I'll be having a live stream at one o'clock today, so please join that. Uh, that will be on a sequential function chart. We'll be building one from scratch. It will be live um, and it will also have your chat session open. So if you guys are interested in, you know, throwing me some questions about sequential function charts, then go ahead and do that. Um, enough said about that. The link will be below. Make sure you click it. Go ahead, click the little bell to subscribe. And that way it gives you a notification to actually go to the live, st live stream. Okay. So enough said about that. Let's show you uh, instance number one. Okay, so if we are programming and all of a sudden we come in here and we, you know, we have this like this, we've undocked it, right? We've undocked our controller organizer. Um, a lot of people think, well, let's go up here to view or to um, view right here, and let's uh, let's use uh, let's let's toggle the controller organizer off and on. See if that helps. Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's see. Um, now the next thing is, oh, let's just stretch it out. Uh, let's just stretch it out. Well, that's a big, big aggravation because then I got to come over here. I got to resize this thing. I get, and then even when I do that, it's not going to fix it, right? Even when I do all that, it's, it, you know, it's just a waste of time. I'm trying to, you know, you're trying to program. You're trying to troubleshoot something. You got the line down or you got people asking you why stuff is not working. And you're trying to solve issues, right? You're trying to fix everything, and now you got to deal with this. You know, now the software ain't working right. So every one of these that I open is going to do the same thing, right? And no matter what I do, I can't get it back. It's going to do the same thing, right? It's going to. It's still. I still had to waste time doing this. So um, the first thing that you should do, um, and I'll show you the, the first instance to get this back, is simply just close the program. And make sure you, I have a couple of them, so I'm going to make sure I have, this is the Studio 5000 uh, Udemy file. I'll make sure I open up the right one. <clears throat> As you close it out, we'll save it. And then what we'll do is we'll open up another instance. <clears throat> In this instance, we're going to open the same file. And we're, as, oh, I, I actually opened the wrong file. Um, we're going to open up the same file. And then we're going to hold control and shift down it at while, while it's opening. What control and shift is doing is actually uh, resetting the uh, Studio 5000 to basically a known place. So it redocks it for you. Um, a lot of times what you'll find is you would think that you could just like close out the program and open it back. And it, it actually goes back to a happy state. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, so, I believe either way, these are. Uh, this is the file, um, actually, that I was working with. The other one was the uh, one I opened on accident. Either way, it's still docked. It's still good. So um, that's one way to get out of it. Make sure you you can close the program, and then when you reopen it in the um, Studio 5000, that you hold Control and Shift down at the same time. So I know that can in itself can be aggravating too because, at, like I said, hey, we're at the point where we're trying to troubleshoot. We're trying to get back into uh, getting the system back working. Well, we don't really have time to shut the, the program down, right? I mean, who has time to do that? I wouldn't have opened it if I'm trying to, you know, so um, if, I, if I just wanted to shut it down and, and reset everything. So that's, that's a little aggravating, right? So here's where we go to option two. Um, very, very helpful. Um, you don't have to do anything as far as resetting. So I've undocked it again. Uh, obviously, I'll show you that. I've undocked everything. Um, everything's here. Now what I want to do is dock everything back. So let's, you see these little arrows? Uh, there's little arrows. So make sure 
if you want to dock it, make sure the arrow is green, right? So you can dock it up top. You can come over here to the arrow and don't just like hover over the until the arrow appears because it's not going to do anything. You want to hover over it, over the area, uh, the arrow till it turns green and you'll see the, the box pop in and then it's back fixed. So the second option is obviously the way to go. Um, the, you know, uh, the first option, yes, if you have to, you know how to do that now, right? You know how to shut it down and do the control shift, and that's a very helpful tool. But the easier way to do this is to just, you know, undock it if you want to move it or whatever. You know, say you want to see the whole view of something. I mean, you, sometimes programs get big. You need to see, and, and your, your screen resolution might be different, so you need to see the whole thing. So once you're done you want to see it back right, just clip, simply go over here until you see the little arrow pop up. Make sure it's green. Pop it in. You're good. You're back. Everything's back normal. So now you're back, you know, you're troubleshooting something else. Now you can just save it and go on to the next thing. So you're done. So again, hopefully that was helpful. It added a little piece of knowledge to, because I, I see this being searched even in knowledge base. So I wanted to answer this question for you, for all the people that follow my YouTube channel. I'm trying to add value. So, um, Again, you shouldn't have to search knowledge base for this because it's breaking down your day and you're trying to troubleshoot and you're trying to get things done, right? So, okay. Um, again, um, this is just two tips, two ways to do this. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And go ahead and go to the live screen, live stream below. Uh, have the link below and click that and go to it and click uh, check the... Uh, set reminder bell and that will remind you that when we start again that's going to be at one o'clock so um if you got this it's one o'clock eastern standard time so um not sure what time zone you're in but you know maybe have to shift these times or whatever but i'm trying to do them as i can so um either way you'll be able to watch it when it's published so um either watch it live or watch it after it's published the benefit to live is you get to ask questions so um check the bell. Okay. Enough said. I hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks.